Well, let's start by um, one of the things because it's the 50th anniversary show. Um, if you could start with like the first time you played Newport, how you got here, <coughs> but also like this, describe the dramatic difference between what Free Body Park was like away from the water and this, you know, mm -hmm. <coughs> and what this is all about. Okay. Yeah. First time I came to Newport was in 1960, the year of the riot. I didn't get to play. I came with a bunch of musicians from Nashville, a guitarist Hank Garland, a wonderful jazz player that, that I had connected with. I was only 17 at the time. And we showed up the night the riot started. We were supposed to play the next day. So we ended up sitting here the whole weekend uh, with nothing to do because the rest of the festival was canceled. But fortunately, I got to come back just a few years later uh, with Stan Getz, in fact, on that occasion. And in those days, it was down in Freebody Park, which was in town more and uh, had a real nice uh, enclosed feel because it was in, it was sort of inside of um, uh, a walled park. And uh, it's changed over the years because it, later on it was on a big open field just outside of town for a while, which didn't have as much character. But now it's at Fort Adams and it's overlooking the water. In fact, the best view is from the stage when you're looking out at the audience uh, and, you, and you see the whole harbor out there and the people on their boats listening to the music. It's one of the, one of the great scenes. Um, who else do you know? You played with Getz here in what, 62? Getz and twice and then uh, in 64 and 65 and then uh, back with my own group in 69, 60, 67, 68, 69, 70 with Keith Jarrett and uh, almost every year there for the, through the 60s and into the early 70s. What was different about playing here than playing in any other kind of venue in the U.S.? Okay. Playing in Newport is, has always been uh, sort of unlike any other uh, festival, any other uh, jazz venue. And I think it's partly because uh, George Ween, who founded the festival and has run it all these years, is himself a musician. And there's this, this feeling among the musicians backstage that, you know, it's, it's a family occasion. Uh, you, you, it just doesn't feel the same as, as at many other festivals that I take part in. So I look forward to coming every time I'm, I'm going to be appearing at Newport. It's, 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 it's a, an experience all its own. I want, I want you to talk about uh, Julian, uh, because in case, you know, they're going to be shooting um, the Lincoln Center Orchestra tomorrow, so in case that, like, that is used, just a, a background on him and on what you're doing. Okay. Should we, should I, should he stand with me um, and no, talk? Yeah. And Jules, take, drop your pack and... So you'll okay. Have to and then yeah. Talk about the I'm here with Julian Lodge. Julian's this wonderful guitar player from California who's been playing with me lately. We did a record this year and now we're doing some concerts. And we're here at the festival. We're playing just a duet tribute to the Modern Jazz Quartet. Uh, the, the idea this year at the festival was to honor a lot of the great musicians of the past. And we're sharing the stage with the Lincoln Center Jazz Orchestra who's doing a tribute to Monk and to Ellington. And in the middle of that, we're doing our tribute to John Lewis and Milt Jackson. So we're gonna play a little medley of some of the MJQ songs. Yeah, good, I think so. Cool, okay, great. All the good shit. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so, so what are we going to do about Charlie?